This is your ultimate guide to Festival of the Arts in 2024 here in Epcot in Disney World. And we're showing you literally everything and everything you can't miss and why this is our favorite Disney festival. And after watching this, I think you're gonna think it's your favorite Disney festival too. From the incredible cuisine that is super artistic and creative and delicious for the ultimate Disney foodie, as well as amazing Broadway shows, incredible Disney artists that you can only see here and meet them too, to epic Disney photo ops and the best Disney scavenger hunt you will ever do all here at Festival of the Arts in Disney World, making this the ultimate Orlando event. And I'm Maria with LBV TV, where there's never a dull moment on this channel in the most magical and creative places on earth. So let's get the party started. Now a must do that's all over Epcot and as you first enter are the amazing photo ops where you step into the world's most famous paintings. And in this case, this year that's new, is you can actually step inside the world of Disney. Disney World, get it, pun intended. But uh, this year's different. They actually have the stories like Mary Poppins. I see a wish over here and Sleeping Beauty. But let me show you how this works. They're all over World Showcase too, not just right here in the beginning of Epcot. So you're gonna wanna jump inside the painting. Now usually there's photo pass or get a friend to take a photo, make a fun pose, um, or you can have extra fun. Sometimes I bring a little coffee. If there's a coffee table in the painting. Drink some coffee, make it fun and or take a video and then go to the next one. The other thing that's great about these photo ops, again, they are all over World Showcase in different countries, as well as the entrance to different parts of Epcot. But again, there's also never lines for these. So again, come here, take a photo. I love Sleeping Beauty. Let me know in the comments, what Disney World story would you wanna hop in and take a photo? All right, let's jump into the movie Wish. Okay. I saw another awesome friend, Melka, do this. And of course, the most important part and coolest part of Festival of the Arts in Disney World is the artists. You're gonna see rare artists from all over the world who come and show their incredible artwork that is Disney inspired, some of it also non-Disney. But the unique pieces you're gonna wanna check out are these booths behind me that wrap around World Showcase. Some of the other artists are also even over by where Figment is. A lot of people miss and don't know it's there. You'll see the most expensive table in Disney history, Snow White, $70,000, cast in bronze, absolutely incredible. You'll also see some of the most expensive artwork as well around World Showcase. There's also tons of affordable, amazing artwork like Greg McCullough that has these incredible pieces that have tons of hidden Mickeys inside of beautiful trees, some that are hidden Mickeys around a painting of Epcot and World Showcase, and tons more. Or Thomas Kincaid brings their artists so you can actually meet them as well as watch them draw in live time. So a lot of your favorite artists that do Disney work will actually be here meeting guests. That's probably my favorite thing because not only do you get to see them, talk to them, ask them about the inspiration to their artwork, but also get to see them in live time often drawing, um, often and sometimes sketching special things. It's really, really cool. And again, where else in the world can you do that but here in Disney World? Now, a huge tip for Festival of the Arts in 2024 here at Epcot is the must-do visiting of Figment's Inspiration Station. That's behind me in the Odyssey building. That has the best food, the best drinks, of course, inspired by Figment and the famous popcorn buckets. Yes, that sell out and people go bonkers over. Last year, people went crazy for the rainbow cake with the freeze dried Skittles and it's absolutely delicious. It was nice and moist. It was possibly my favorite dessert of all of Festival of the Arts and it will probably be again this year because there's not a lot of new food items, but the rainbow cake is a must get. Freeze dried Skittles sounds gross. Trust me, it was delicious. Now the grape smoothie comes in a really cool collector's cup, but also has freeze dried Skittles in it. Now it sounds gross because people think grape, ew. It was actually very good, a little bit sour, almost like a sorbet. And then if you love a great beverage, the coolest beverages I found in all of Festival of the Arts were here as well. Not only were they rainbow colored, but they were delicious. The Three Daughters Brewing Black Cherry Hard Cider, the Blood Orange Hard Cider, the Passion Fruit Hard Cider, all of them so, so good. I would come here over and over again just for those. So not only is this a must visit if you want some great photo ops with food that look beautiful or video, but also delicious. Not only does it look great, it actually tastes great. And I think that's my favorite since last year and it's back again in 2024. And a huge tip for Festival of the Arts in 2024 is how to get the popcorn buckets with no weight. It's actually a virtual queue. You go on your phone into the mobile app and you basically mobile order your Figment popcorn bucket. And this year it's actually 
extra special because it looks like Figment's actual ride. The amazing, incredible architecture. And this year I'm extra excited for the popcorn bucket because it matches perfectly our incredible Art of Imagination Figment Retro Tee. Yes, it has the famous, of course, uh, triangles that make that awesome architecture to that building. But of course, Figment and Mickey's hand painting the rainbow. Let me know in the comments, are you gonna be getting that popcorn bucket? Do you love it? Or do you like the old one, which is actual Figment? Um, I personally am really excited to see this, and I think it's gonna be really cool, even if you have it as a part of your office. I do a lot of that with popcorn buckets. Let me know if you actually use popcorn buckets as decor in your home. I answer every comment. Yes, literally, go check. I answer every comment. So let me know. I love getting to know you guys. Let me know who you're from, too. And I'm excited to maybe give away one, so keep an eye out. And another major tip and trick, of course, if you're coming to Festival of the Arts, you gotta meet Figment, but bring your popcorn bucket, because that's literally what's behind me. Bring it for a great photo op with Figment, who's an amazing meet and greet, as well as a ton of fun. Now you're gonna wanna write this down because I'm showing you a free thing to do at Disney. Yes, you heard that right, free at Disney, which is a rare thing. At Festival of the Arts, every week they have a different paint by numbers mural. Not only is it fun and interactive with your family of all ages, but also you get to take home a bookmark of that mural. It changes every week, so you can come every other week if you're a local or say you're visiting multiple times, get that free bookmark. And I love collecting them, they're awesome. And another one of my favorite things about Festival of the Arts is the really cool shows you'll see here often. Um, this amazing artist Trevor comes and he literally paints while dancing to awesome, really cool music. It's very much like America's Got Talent wall painting, as well as usually acrobats. Uh, sometimes it's famous uh, statues that come to life. Again, you never know what you'll see, so don't miss this over here. And another thing that's not listed, people miss all the time, is the spin art. That's right, you can actually get involved creating your own amazing work of art. Think Jackson Pollock or some sort of pop art. It is so fun, so cool. I put way too much glitter in mine though, it looked like a mess. But trust me, it is a really neat take home souvenir that a lot of people don't realize is here for Festival of the Arts only. Oh, and I totally forgot to remind you guys, hit that like and subscribe button. We are the ultimate guide, people. So if you haven't already, make sure to follow us here or on all of our social media. The links are in the bio. And we have a lot of fun wherever we go. My other favorite things for Festival of the Arts that's not even listed usually in the brochure or online is the free scavenger hunt. There's a paid one and a free one. All throughout World Showcase of the different pavilions, there is different Disney artwork based, of course, on the characters that are inspired from, again, the different areas. Like China has Mulan with Little Brother, as well as incredible Phoenix wings. And if you go to the UK, you'll see Robin Hood, as well as other hidden artistic gems. And it is a scavenger hunt. Each pavilion has different pieces of artwork themed from the different countries. So make sure to stop and take a photo with them, see if you actually catch all of them. There's ones really hidden in Japan. Then there's a paid scavenger hunt. But the reason it is not free is because you get the coolest piece of artwork that you can take home and do yourself like a figment bus that you can paint or a Mickey bus you can paint in past years that's what it's been and I love that gift so much now figment is hidden around World Showcase as a different scavenger hunt so at the different parts of the park you're gonna see figment hidden in the Mona Lisa or you're gonna see figment in Germany doing his best very serious poses now as you walk through World Showcase take a sticker from each spot when you find figment and put it on the map then take it to get your prize, or you can even get your prize when you first buy your map. It is absolutely worth it at $8.95. I think it's one of the coolest prizes you can get because not only is it rare and unique, but you get to paint it yourself. And Festival of the Arts has some of the best free entertainment with concerts. Right behind me in the America Pavilion, they have free Broadway shows. And you definitely should take advantage of this because a Broadway show that is a Disney show would cost upwards of $300, $400 a ticket in a city or New York City on Broadway. But here it's free and you literally get the stars from the actual Broadway shows. My personal favorite is Joshua Strickland. I think he's incredible. He does Tarzan. Of course, all the different singers do uh, shows that aren't just ones that they performed on Broadway but I personally love Joshua. I think he's amazing. Great show, great time, and it usually packs up for him. Let me know in the comments if you've ever seen a Disney Broadway show, what your favorite is. Uh, mine might be Lion King. Another thing you don't want to miss at Festival of the Arts, and you're going to be probably shocked when I say this, is the chalk art. You're probably thinking, chalk art? How cool could that be? Oh my goodness, it's incredible. It is fine art chalk art, and literally they create 
three-dimensional chalk art that you can actually hop into the paintings, take photos, and also even get involved by doing your own drawings um, on another section that you don't want to miss. It's usually for kids, but last year I saw adults getting in on the fun, and man, are you guys artists? The best food of all the Disney festivals is here at Festival of the Arts. I know that sounds weird because there's a food and wine festival, but we are showing you why. Because not only is it the most beautiful presentation you'll see of any food in the Disney parks, but also you get to play with your food. Um, and it's delicious. One of my favorite food booths is at, let me see if I can pronounce it, La Arte de Mangiare in Italy. I don't know if I killed that, but hopefully I didn't because the food is so good. I loved the flash fried mozzarella. Think of it like a really fancy mozzarella stick but it comes with an artist palette that is filled with different condiments from aiolis to pestos to different types of tomato sauces and it's a lot of fun I mentioned that right and then another favorite that you must not miss a lot of people skip over it because they don't know it exists is the masu sake that comes in a personalized wooden cup over in Japan that's right you get sake with a personalized cup you can have anything written on it I had LBB TV written in big bold letters of course but also they add other personalized things like messages anything you want it's a great souvenir you can take home it's usually about $15 but I think it's worth it again not just for the sake but the personalized experience again every food or drink often comes with a showmanship and experience that is very very specific to Festival of the Arts you don't get at food and wine and don't get at the other Disney festivals now my other must not skip food booth is the Encanto one Oh, not only is the music so good when you go over there, but the food is delicious. The chorizo and potato at Banyan is absolutely delicious. It's got turmeric aioli, um, as well as it's really big and hearty. And also the uh, mango cheesecake they have there. Some years it's passion fruit, some years it's a little different. So make sure to check that out. Now, are you ready for a food that might be controversial to skip? I know, get ready for it. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree. No wrong answers. Hey, everybody's got opinions. I personally think skip the sushi donut yes I said it if you need a meal with some uh, raw fish it's great but I do think you can just go upstairs to the Japan pavilion and get some sushi for the same cost uh, the only difference is it comes in a circle it's very expensive for just coming in a circle or take the rice from the Japan pavilion upstairs in the restaurant squish it together voila again sushi donut I'm just trying to save you some money it's expensive at festival of the arts for the food but you see why again the presentation the amount of food there are larger portions but I would say skip it though a lot of people I'm sure in the comments are gonna go no I love it so much I'm just saying you could get the same thing by going upstairs in Japan and the other star of festival of the arts is actually the Jumbo Artist Palette Cookie. It is absolutely amazing. It is possibly Disney Park's best cookie they make. In past years, it wasn't. It was dry and ugh. This year, it is soft and gooey, but what makes it extra amazing is actually the interactive fun experience of painting with the icing, doing drawings, and it's delicious. Another major tip and trick for Festival of the Arts, especially if you love food or coffee, a lot of people don't know this, but the best unique coffees for any festival in all of the Disney parks is during Festival of the Arts, it's at Joffrey's. They change it every year, and this year is a pistachio latte, and then also a roseberry one. That's gonna mean it's gonna have a strawberry uh, syrup as well as a rose syrup. Sounds weird, I know, but they're always amazing. And you must not miss the incredible shows on Spaceship Earth at night. They change, especially for the festivals, into these amazing shows like the Rainbow Connection in past years. That's right, Kermie and all the Muppets sing the Rainbow Connection. We are famous for our ultimate guides to anything, especially Disney World. So make sure to watch our other vlogs, the ultimate guide to Halloween parties, Disneyland, Disney World, Christmas parties, Disneyland, Disney World, you name it, we do. It. And we want to thank you for tens of thousands of you who have shared those vlogs and those guides. We hope this was really helpful before you come. And there's more to come because we're going to be doing a vlog from here opening day and much more. So make sure to share this because again, we are the only group that literally covered everything you could do for free as well in Disney World for Festival of the Arts. Let us know in the comments after watching this, do you think this is now your favorite festival? Like it is mine. It's all right. If it's not, that's okay. That's okay because Flower and Garden is amazing. I love Flower and Garden. Um, food and wine is a lot of fun. Festival of Holidays is my other up there favorite. Um, but let me know, what do you love from Disney World festivals? And again, if you're new, I'm Maria with LBV TV, where there's never a dull moment in the most beautiful, magical, and artistic places on earth. And just like Mickey, we never say goodbye on our channel. We say, see you real soon.